miss my friends, yeah. I miss my friends. Now I miss my friends. Now I miss my friends. Now I miss my friends. And I ain't got no life. This is quarantine. Welcome back to another audiogram. Lockdown is over now. So I'm heading out tonight with friends, namely New Zealand friends. So we all know how that's going to go. It's going to be a good night and uh, probably won't feel good tomorrow. So uh, the song of the intro, Nelly, Pimp Juice, absolute classic of a song. The, the way the, the snare and the clap just, it just slaps hard. And it's got one of my all-time favourite uh, lyrics, which is, you're not from Russia, so bitch, why are you Russian? Just a great, great line. So uh, today talking about inspiration brings openness. Now what I mean by that is... Um, Last year when my dad passed away, I kind of felt like in the next few days after that I was cut open in terms of being able to sort of talk about deeper things with someone. Namely, um, I was talking to my brother about it, I think, the following day and just at the time feeling I think it's all about the perspective that you find yourself in where you're like, I've experienced something, you know, like a death is so major and it kind of changes your perspective on things like being worried about what you're going to say to people or how you have to act or be a certain way. You kind of just say, all of that doesn't really matter. So for me, it kind of inspired me to be more open at the time. But what I found was over the preceding, I guess, eight to 10 months before my um, dad's memorial a couple of weeks ago, I found that I had been cracked open, but then slowly the walls were coming back up and I was closing up again where I, as I said in the first one, I got to such a state where it was kind of impossible to, to speak with how I was feeling. So I think it's just about being aware that, even though terrible things can happen to you and traumatic things, it does give you that opportunity, I guess, to become more open or harness the initial impact and use it in a way where you are being more open and able to talk about your feelings, which, you know, it might not be for everyone. I'm pretty sure there'd be an opposite effect for some people where something like that would happen and then they would immediately close off. But for me it was initially helpful like immediately but then it started to grind and wear away at me and left me in that position but ever since um my dad's memorial I've I felt like I've got like closure and I feel a lot better in general about things but I also experienced a similar thing in terms of being cracked open to be open because that event was um, obviously a big sort of milestone for me and our family. And just to sort of, as it happened, I felt like I was able to, I was reopened again, I guess, and I could speak about how I was feeling and that type of thing, kind of when I was starting, I guess, around the time of when I started the audiogram, I used that sort of inspiration to talk about how I was feeling and I guess the the challenge is or yeah the challenge I'm trying to be aware of is those walls may start to creep back up again and I may close off even with doing these audiograms as an example the first couple I'm like oh this is new and it's exciting so you know I'm motivated to do it and that type of thing whereas now it's because it's become more regular and familiar 
you don't get that same kind of like good good feeling a, as I would have at the start, even though it's still there, like I'm, I'm still enjoying it. But I guess to me, making sure I do it every week, um, Friday is the goal day to do it on. So I think as long as I keep pushing myself to keep producing the audiograms, whatever content it's about, I, I did initially want to just keep it music based, but really it doesn't really matter what I talk about as long as I'm talking about a topic that I feel will be helpful for people out there and just to kind of give insight about myself, then I think that's the way I want to do things moving forward. So that's it for today. Um, thanks for listening and I'll catch you on the next one. I miss my friends, yeah. I miss my friends. Now I miss my friends. Now I miss my friends. Now I miss my friends. And I ain't got no life. This is quarantine.